the Apple Watch SE, another addition to the growing list of Apple SE products that actually really hurt. Ow. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before, or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So today, indeed, we are breaking down this puppy right here, the Apple Watch SE, the newest model addition to the Apple Watch model lineup. And the Apple Watch SE, really shouldn't be that much of a surprise. We've seen over the last couple years, Apple adding more and more budget-friendly devices to their lineups. But if you're anything like me and wondering, you know, what's this Apple Watch SE all about? Naturally, we're gonna break down this thing. Maybe grab some popcorn, grab a water, grab a chair, buckle up. I don't know why you would buckle up, you're just sitting down. But regardless, the Apple Watch SE review. Let's start things out by talking about the design of the Apple Watch SE and how things are looking on the outside. The first thing you'll notice about the Apple Watch SE is how similar it actually looks to the Apple Watch Series 4, Series 5, and Series 6. You actually get the same updated design we received in the Apple Watch Series 4, meaning you do get that beautiful edge-to-edge -edge LTPO OLED display with rounded corners, capable of up to 1,000 nits of brightness and coming in at 44 and 40 millimeter sizes. And of course, that retina rating on the display that we've come to love and actually kind of need in our Apple device displays. But one thing of note here, the display on the Apple Watch SE is not an always on display. But you do also get water resistance in the Apple Watch SE. You can actually swim up to a depth of 50 meters, which means the Apple Watch SE is indeed swim proof. So a lot of good stuff here as it relates to the Apple Watch SE design. But where we do start to see the limitations is in terms of material and colors. With the Apple Watch SE, you just have one material to choose from, so it's no choice at all. All, you're only getting the SE available in aluminum. But with the aluminum, you actually do have three different finishes or three different colors to choose from. You do have silver aluminum, gold aluminum, or space gray aluminum. And this is to be expected here. This makes sense. This is meant to be the budget Apple Watch. It wouldn't really make sense to have a budget Apple Watch and then upcharge for more premium materials and colors. That's kind of against the point. But that does also mean the display has ion X glass instead of sapphire crystal glass. But if you don't care about any of that, if you're cool with aluminum and the three different colors of aluminum you get to choose from, so far so good. And that's actually not bad. Prior to the Apple Watch Series 6, I actually was using aluminum space gray as my default material and color for all my Apple Watches. Ever since the Series 1, I would choose aluminum space gray. I liked the matte finish, it was cheap enough, so it's not bad. So all in all, the design, it's updated, it's great. It's pretty much what you're getting in the Series 4, Series 5, and Series 6, just with some limitations. But where things differ a little bit are with the internals of the Apple Watch SE. What's going on on the inside that you can't see on the outside? On the SE, you do have a couple things going on on the inside here. First of all, being an always-on altimeter. So at any given time, it's always on. You can see your altitude. And you are also getting that compass built in if you need to check which direction you're facing. And then in terms of the chipset and processor, you are getting the S5 chip with a 64-bit dual processor in the SE. A combination that honestly, with my experience, has made this watch very snappy, very responsive. Launching apps? happens quickly, switching between apps, seamless. No, you do not get the S6 processor like you get in the Series 6, but with the S5 and the dual core processor, I found that to be pretty much all you need in an Apple Watch. Faster, always better, sure, but things have come a long way since the start of the Apple Watch processing days. You used to actually have to wait like 10 seconds to launch an app on the Apple Watch. Not anymore, now it's pretty much instantaneous, even in the budget Apple Watch. In addition to that, you are getting the Apple W3 chip in the SE, which is basically just gonna help with your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Better Wi-Fi and Bluetooth performance with a Bluetooth 5.0 connection. And then this is something people don't usually think about a whole lot, but you do actually get storage on the Apple Watch, and on the SE, you're getting 32 gigs of storage. 32 gigabytes of storage, giving you that much more room for downloading your apps, maybe even storing some local music. So 32 gigabytes of storage on the Apple Watch SE, which is actually the same amount of storage you're getting on the base 
baseline model of the regular iPad, which makes it even more ridiculous that that's even an option on the iPad. But regardless, 32 gigs of storage on the SE. And then in case you're wondering about cellular, yes, you actually do get the cellular option on the Apple Watch SE as well. That's the cherry on top. You've got a lot going on in terms of the design and the internals on the SE that all shapes this up to be pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. But I know that one of the main concerns with the Apple Watch has always been and still is the battery. How long can you actually expect the Apple Watch SE to last for? From what we've seen so far, you are actually getting battery performance on par with what we've seen from other Apple Watch series models. Meaning, you should expect about 18 hours of battery life, which means all day battery life. Depending, of course, on what you're doing, and this, this is a big depending here. Because if you are using a cellular Apple Watch, I found, no matter what Apple Watch I'm using, if I'm using a cellular connection, that connection negatively impacts the battery life pretty substantially. There's been times where I've been working out at the gym with a cellular connection and I have literally seen my battery drop percentage point by percentage point within just a matter of a couple of minutes. This is not unique to the Apple Watch SE. This pretty much goes with any Apple Watch with a cellular connection. It just seems to be that for whatever reason, cellular Apple Watches with a cellular connection just totally bombs the battery. But with your normal day-to-day -day activities, if you're connecting to Wi-Fi when you can, or if you have your iPhone nearby, expect all day battery life. That's what Apple promises, that's what I've seen. And just keep in the back of your mind, if you're using cellular, the more you use cellular, the faster you're gonna drain the battery. That's just, that's just a thing with Apple Watches, at least for now, you still gotta keep in mind. But next up, a huge proponent of the Apple Watch, health features. One of the main reasons I got an Apple Watch personally to begin with. On the Apple Watch SE, you do have some health features here that are pretty awesome as well. You do of course have the ability to track your workouts and you do get to track your heart rate through the second generation optical heart rate sensor. That's gonna track your heartbeats, your patterns, any kind of irregularities. And you do get a step counter in the SE. So if you wanna fill those activity rings like I personally look forward to doing on a daily basis, you could do that on the SE as well. Couple more features to talk about here that I wanted to make sure you know. You do also get fall detection and noise monitoring. Complete with emergency SOS and international emergency calling should you find yourself needing to use either of those features. Couple features you're not getting in the Apple Watch SE that are worth pointing out here. You're not getting an ECG sensor, so you won't be able to take electrocardiograms. And of course, you're not getting the blood oxygen sensor, which is currently exclusive to the Apple Watch Series 6. But again, that is to be expected with a budget Apple Watch. And to be quite honest with you, I rarely use that ECG feature. I've had it on the Apple Watch Series 4, 5, and 6, and I think for a while I actually deleted the app and didn't even realize. Now granted, if you need to keep an eye on atrial fibrillation, then you're gonna wanna have that ECG feature, which you're not getting on the Apple Watch SE, but I think for most of us who are just using the Apple Watch for our basic needs, it's not gonna be a deal breaker that you don't get that ECG or the blood oxygen sensor. So with all that in mind, here is my conclusion as it relates to the Apple Watch SE. I mentioned earlier in this video how I love the fact that Apple is creating budget-friendly devices so that we could cover more of the market. So to get all of the successful features thus far, some of the best features thus far of the Apple Watch boiled down into a budget-friendly Apple Watch SE, I'm loving that. You're basically getting a watered-down Apple Watch Series 5 but with it being the Apple Watch SE. Now having said that, personally, I'm not gonna be rocking the Apple Watch SE on a daily basis because I'm rocking the Apple Watch Series 6. And for me, this really comes down to one reason in particular, the lack of an always-on display on the Apple Watch SE. This is one of those little upgrades that you don't realize how much you appreciate until you start using it more and more. Yes, I've had my own problems that I've mentioned here on this channel in regard to the always-on display. I still don't think it's perfect, but at least it's very helpful to have on an Apple Watch, especially when you're typing at the computer or if you're at a desk situation all day and you wanna glance down at your watch without having to rotate it and lift it up to see what time it is. So that's what an always-on display display does, you can basically see your watch at all given times. It just dims and slows down the refresh rate when you're facing it away from you. But on the Apple Watch SE to actually check your watch, you are gonna have to lift and raise it. So something to consider. Out the door, if you want an Apple Watch that's gonna cover all your basics, which are still pretty impressive features to have in a smartwatch, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Apple Watch SE because it covers all those basics. Step tracking, heart rate monitors, tracking your workouts, being able to send and receive text messages and phone calls all that good stuff, you're gonna get all that on the Apple Watch SE. Complete with your watch faces that you could play around with and your complications. And the fact that you're getting all that at a very reasonable price, I gotta clap, because that's awesome. I want everyone to have an Apple Watch, and this gets us one step closer to that. If you want the latest and greatest as it relates to features, or if you want additional materials and finishes to choose from, then you'll have to look at the other Apple Watch models available. But for everyone else who doesn't care about all that, you just want an Apple Watch that's gonna get the job done, SE. 
check it out. I hurt my finger again by doing that. Ow. As always, if you guys are interested in finding out more about the Apple Watch SE or just to cop one for yourself, you guys could always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash Apple Watch SE. bmac.link slash Apple Watch SE, or as always, there will be a clickable link in the video description box below as well, so check that out. And with that having been said, I'm gonna go track my workout on the Apple Watch, of course. Come on, you know how it is. You know the vibe, dude. I will see you guys in my next video. All these budget devices I'm reviewing lately. I'm gonna have to change my name from BMAC to Budget Mac. No, not at all. I will never do that. Never mind. Forget I even said that.